In this part of the lesson, we are going to look more closely at the meaning of the little blue checkboxes that are present in uh, GitHub Desktop and talk about how they are related to the idea of staging. So um, that in the world of GitHub Diagram, the staging area is this area right here. If you're using command line Git, there's actually a command that you have to execute to tell Git that you want to keep track of some particular file using the Git version control system. In GitHub Desktop, you don't have to issue a command line command, but rather you just check on a little blue checkbox and that tells Git through GitHub Desktop that you want to basically keep track uh, and potentially commit a file. Now, I am really just getting started on this project. So I don't feel as though my instructions are really ready to make public. I'm, I don't want to lose all the hard work that I did on this spreadsheet. So I want to save that as a commit. However, I don't want these instructions to be saved. So both of them are found in this file directory here. And that's where I want them to be, but I don't want both of them to become a part of my commit. So this little blue checkbox over here tells me whether I want to stage those particular files to be committed or not. So if you recall in this diagram, we have this thing called the Git staging area that's in between your drive folder and your repository. So part of the magic that happens in that .git folder is keeping track of what things you are staging for commits and what things you aren't. Even though both of them are in your drive, if I only want one of them to be in the staging area, I can control that with the blue checkboxes. If I want to stage the spreadsheet for my commit, but I'm not ready to include the instructions in the commit, then I can just uncheck that which um, basically means that uh, GitHub Desktop knows it's there, but it also knows that I don't want to include it in my commit. So I'm going to say add spreadsheet sample, and I'm going to go ahead and commit that to the master. So again, we can see here that I have created a commit which is um, to make the spreadsheet, but I have not yet pushed it up to GitHub, and I'm not quite ready to do that yet. 